tonight we have the Nahida Collected Miscellany. It is called Unraveling Wonders of the Universe. So the patch is live, patch is out. Um, good luck on the polls. Hopefully you got her. But let's see what Dane Stuff has to say about her this time. Lesser Lord Kusanali is a god unlike any other. As the god of wisdom, she has profound insight into the nature of all things, yet she has never had the opportunity to learn by doing. Oh. One may ask, how can a god possess true wisdom in the absence of lived experience? So true, though. All answers can be found in dreams, and she welcomes fellow truth seekers to dream along with her. I've been waiting for you for ages. Literally ages. Over her years of confinement, Lesser Lord Kusanali has grown intensely curious about the world outside. Just through observing <laughs> from afar, Nahida has learned enough to adapt to any situation. Nahida's normal attack can oh, perform up to four strikes that deal dendro damage. That is so funny. Her charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina to deal AoE dendro damage in front of her after a short casting time. Oh, a charge attack. Okay. Tap Nahida's elemental skill to cast Dendral Bonds that deal AoE Dendro damage. Of the enemy's hit, a certain number will be marked with the Seed of Skanda. Seed of Skanda. Right. Hold her elemental skill to enter aiming mode and target enemies within a certain range. Nahida benefits from increased resistance to interruption while in this mode. Ooh, that's good. Aiming mode lasts for a limited duration, and only a wow. limited number of enemies can be selected as targets. Release the skill button to deal dendro damage to all selected enemies That's and so mark fast. them with a seed of skanda. That's so good for application. Enemies marked with a seed of skanda and in range of <laughs> each other will form a connection. When an enemy marked with a seed of skanda triggers an elemental reaction or takes damage from dendro cores, Nahida unleashes Tri Karma Purification, dealing dendro damage to them and all connected enemies based on Nahida's oh. attack and elemental mastery. Tri Karma oh. Purification can only be triggered once per set interval. Okay. After unlocking the talent Awakening Elucidated, the crit rate and damage of Tri Karma Purification will be increased based on the amount of Nahida's elemental mastery that exceeds a given value. Tri Karma Purification's crit rate and damage can only be increased in this manner up to a certain amount. <laughs> Burning. Nahida is always watching, listening, learning about the world around her. Nahida's elemental skill allows her to interact with certain harvestable that items when they so are in range. Good. In some scenarios, it may also have other uses. What, what are you saying there, Dane Slough? Huh? What do you mean? When Nahida unleashes her elemental burst, she materializes the Court of Dreams and brings forth the Shrine of Maya. The Shrine, shrine provides Maya. different effects depending on the elemental types of characters <laughs> in the party, as follows. Okay. If the so party contains this, right? a Pyro character, the damage dealt by Tri Karma Purification will be increased, be increased when Nahida is within the Shrine of Maya's AoE. So is it just her? If the party contains an electro character, the interval between each tri karma purification is decreased when Nahida is within the shrine of Maya's AoE. Hmm. If the party contains a hydro character, the shrine of Maya's duration will be extended. When the I feel like they're going to keep on doing created, stuff like this. If the party contains at least two characters of the aforementioned elemental types, their corresponding effects will receive a further boost. So long as the active oh, party so member doubled. remains within the shrine. The effects described above can be triggered even if Nahida is not on the field. Fog. Nahida Definitely. freely shares her knowledge with anyone who asks, but how much of it they can comprehend depends on their own aptitude. After unlocking the talent Compassion Illuminated, when Nahida casts her elemental burst, the elemental mastery of the active character within the Shrine of Maya will be increased based on the elemental mastery of whichever party members is highest. Elemental mastery can only be increased up to a certain amount in this manner. I, I lost them on that one. The God of Wisdom excels both at posing questions and answering them. Combat is no different. The enemy is the conundrum, and her strategy is the solution. <laughs> in battle, Nahida That's first so targets a group of enemies with her elemental skill, using seeds of Skanda to connect them to each other. Next, she coordinates with her teammates to trigger elemental reactions, repeatedly unleashing Tri-Karma purifications as her main mode of attack. 
Crap. She and her team branch out across the battlefield, taking out the weeds as they go. The weeds. When energy is full, Nahida unleashes her elemental burst, creating the Shrine of Maya to increase all active characters' elemental mastery and provide additional oh. effects depending on the elemental composition of her party. So let's get free Faced M from Nahida's her. Nahida's increased dendro damage and the strengthened team around her. Oh, that's all great for Sino. Oh my gosh. Seeking conflict will soon be reunited with their home turf. For his super long burst, yeah. That works. Humans often place gods on a pedestal awestruck by their unfathomable power. Very few ever come to the realization that gods are not the rulers of Tevat, but True. merely another form of living being in this world. A god who lacks strength may have little to no advantage even over mere mortals. Very true for Tevat. Even I have no spiteful words to say about a god such as this. Oh. I will leave her be. Perhaps I'll the god of Dendro be. will continue to propagate herself for as long as Ermansul continues to exist. As if the for sages the let her free, Ermansul to the whole of Tevat, I will leave that for those who are not under this world's control to discover for themselves. I'll leave that to people who are not under the control of this world to understand for themselves. Obviously, talking about us or whoever you picked, the who's not the opposite sibling. Oh, As time. for the significance of Ermansul to the whole of Tevat, I will leave that for those who are not under this world's control to discover for themselves. So is he trying to say that uh, Ether, in my case, Ether is in control of this world? <laughs> or is he talk about, talking about himself or somebody even higher up? I've, I mean, it definitely seems like something with the, the other traveler, but weird. Either way, uh, in terms of the whole trailer, um, or this is just more of, you know, explaining how she works, but um, yeah, it definitely seems really, really good. I mean, you know, automatically as an Archon, it just seems like they always kind of benefit them in the best way. So in terms of being a Dendro unit, um, applying Dendro is going to be super good with her. It'd be good for like Sino teams, Nilu teams, really any Dendro team, honestly. Um, a lot of EM transferring going on with her, which is really, really nice. And yeah, I'm loving the direction that they're going in with like, you know, a lot of different play styles now. You notice how different elements cause Nahida to work differently? Or at least her burst. And I think they're going to keep on doing that going forward. Like, there's going to be characters who benefit if the team is in a certain, certain has a certain amount of elements, you know? And it stacks and so does her weapon, you know, so... That's cool, I do like that, you know, because it, it makes for different team comps, you know? But I, I like how each and every element gives her a different attribute. It's not just like, you know, mainly focused on one. But I cannot wait to actually play her tomorrow um, and try to level her up. Of course, it's gonna be kind of a grind to do that, but yeah, it just looks super fun. I like the whole, like being able to pick up items from a distance and yeah, like she's gonna be a great addition to the game. But that'll do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one.